Daniel Ricardo arrived at the Sao Paulo Grand Prix with very high expectations, hoping to repeat the excellent performance presented in the Mexican Grand Prix, where the Australian managed to score his first points after his return to the category by finishing the race in seventh position. In the sprint race on Saturday, Ricardo and Tsunoda showed that Alpha Tauri had the potential to score more points this weekend, the Japanese managed to finish the race in 6th place and Ricardo was in 9th place after having a very busy race competing for positions with Carlos Sainz and Oscar Piastri. This Sunday Ricardo knew that even starting at the back of the grid, he had the potential to climb the field and seek to gain more points in the championship but everything changed right at the start, when an accident between Kevin Magnussen and Alexander Albon put an end to this possibility. Daniel Ricciardo was not happy with the restart procedure after the red flag at the start of the Sao Paulo Grand Prix, which took place this Sunday afternoon, in the Alpha Tauri driver's view, latecomer drivers should have the right to discount the lost lap before of the race restart. The Australian expressed his discontent after feeling hampered by the chaotic start at Interlagos, when Ricardo's rear wing was damaged after being hit by a tire that came loose in the accident between Alexander Albon and Kevin Magnussen on the first lap. Daniel ended up directing his Alpha Tauri to the pits as the damage was considerable and the race management had only announced the safety car, one lap later however, the stewards chose to raise the red flag and stop the race. It was at that moment that the Fianza team realized that they could repair the damage to the at 4 and put Ricardo back into the race, However when the race restarted, he could not discount the lost lap and was one lap behind the entire field, that's why he questioned the rule. I think first of all it exposed a flaw or something in the rules, because it didn't feel like we had done a race lap and then you already start the race a lap behind, Oscar and I were victims of that today. Okay there are two of us today, but if 15 cars had damage and had to do what we did, are they going to start a race with 15 cars one lap behind? I don't think so so I believe they need to be a little more open-minded, so that was frustrating. Do you agree with Daniel Ricardo's words and believe that he and Oscar Piastri should have discounted the lost lap due to the accident right after the start of the Sao Paulo Grand Prix? Leave your opinion below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video.